What's up everyone, Coach Dan Palacios of Kinetic Training here. Today we're gonna to take you through some simulated stress and dry fire training. That's for firearms work. I am not a firearms instructor and therefore I rely on tools like dry fire and uh, different types of implements that will allow us to safely and effectively uh, implement firearms training from the safety of our home or the safety of a gym where we don't have to worry about live rounds going off and certainly we can focus a lot more on the mechanics of drawing the firearm, placing our shots, getting our vision, our breathing under control and working the mechanics that allow us to hold our body into position and properly press or squeeze the trigger when the time comes to start letting off rounds on the range or uh, unfortunately if we ever have to do, do ever have to get into a real life and death situation involving a firearm and utilizing that in a way that you know you can confidently approach using that firearm and you're fully educated on how to implement it. So today we're gonna to be working with a bunch of tools but in particular we're working with the virtual shot system today Okay, the safe, the firearm is safe. There are no rounds even in sight. I don't even have any bullets with me. Uh, my clips that I'll be working with today will be the dry fire mag that allows us to repeatedly let off shots so that the virtual shot system can actually hear the shot going off and I won't have to re-rack the trigger every time or re-rack the slide every time so that we can actually let off multiple rounds in one full round here. So the other side of that is that we've got the handgun attachment as well as the rifle attachment which I've got attached to my MCK uh, converter system here. I can very easily shift my pistol into the MCK and now I'm able to fire from uh, rifle positions. So that's gonna be the system that we use. The virtual shot is super cool. I've been playing around with it already for quite some time. It's actually an app system that goes with the brackets here. It allows us to log into the app, set everything up so we can actually virtually use the gyroscope of the phone to move around a virtual range and actually see that we're placing shots. We can hear the sounds of hitting targets, metal targets, what have you, and then get some metrics on how it actually works. So we'll take you through the app. We'll show you how we set it up on the pistol as well as on the rifle setting. And then we're gonna do some simulated stress work after we get our baseline with the BAMF hammer here to see how we do when our body is a little bit more fatigued. We're also gonna work some basic mechanics of what we understand to be basically uh, like performance training for firearms training for tactical athletes. We spend a lot of time in the forward head posture, in the forward shoulder posture positions when we're wielding a firearm, whether that's with a handgun or a rifle. So we do wanna make sure that when we're training in the gym or on the range, we're working mechanics that are conducive to better posture, better control, better breathing. I recommend using stuff like the breath belt here or resistance training devices to allow you to strengthen your back, to strengthen your diaphragm, to understand how to breathe properly as you're squeezing the trigger and how to control your breath as you move about your environment when you're working with firearms. It is a highly stressful environment, whether that's just from excitement or fear or maybe a bit of both. So we do wanna to learn to condition our body from a biomechanical perspective, but also a stress perspective. And a lot of that is gonna to help to be uh, mitigated by not only our physical training, but also our mental training and our skill training. When we train properly, our body can actually implement those mechanics when the time comes. So let's take a look at the virtual shot app system as well as a close up of the brackets themselves. I've already got them set up so that we don't have to worry about uh, showing how to set them up. That's something you can do through the tutorials when you're actually looking at the virtual shot system. So let's take a deep dive on it. So just to give you a close up understanding of what that looks like on the Smith & Wesson firearm here, they have the opportunity to get some adapters. I got myself an adapter for my, uh, my Smith & Wesson here so that this can properly affix itself to the firearm. And you can see there's a little release there. I'm not gonna adjust it because I've got it set up properly, but this is definitely a really nice system. You're gonna put the cell phone into this position here. Once it's locked in, we'll be able to move around and actually see the virtual shot system right in front of my iron sights there. It's really, really cool. Same thing set up for the rifle mount. You can see I've got my dot sight there, but then I've also got the virtual shot mount there where my cell phone is gonna rest on that mount and I'll be able to actually look through my red dot sight through the rifle mount. So we'll show you both here. 
So let's go ahead and log into our virtual shot app. There it is right there. Has to stay in the horizontal or landscape position there. You'll see it's gonna load up. And then really quickly, takes you through some uh, disclaimers here. You gotta make sure that the weapon is safe. Not gonna aim the firearm at anyone else while we're working with it. Okay, and then you'll see here on your list, you've got skill development, you've got mini games, your armory, range builder, all these different aspects of it. Once you log in and get everything set up, you'll see I've got it set up for the pistol right now. We'll go to our range, we'll go to a gallery level, and we'll work at the five yard positioning for right now. Then let's go ahead and get the app set up. So you can see there, it's a virtual range, right? When we move, the firearm around, it's gonna actually pick up on the fact that we're in there. You can see some of that movement as we have it mounted on the firearm. So let's take a close up of that so you can actually see it mounted into the firearm. So we've got it mounted onto the firearm, but you can see I don't have my alignment quite right. So I'm gonna just go ahead and shift this over so that it's much better aligned on my iron sight. And now we're gonna put our dry fire mag in and when I take a shot you'll see that those targets start dropping as I start hitting them so it's a really cool setup that allows us to gyroscopically move around on the device and I'm gonna go ahead and set us into a screen record so you can see what that looks like when I go live on the range here then we'll go into some of our simulated stress work All right, so you got to see the close-up of the app and how it actually functions, how we set it up. It's mounted into the pistol right now. I'm gonna keep it there for right now so that we have the opportunity to do a little bit of simulated stress work. I'm gonna focus a little bit more on just priming my tissues rather than exhausting them by utilizing the BAMF hammer here. So what's cool about the BAMF hammer is that it's pretty unstable from this position and it's much, much heavier than a firearm. Even when you consider recoil, you're gonna get the same benefits of all those positions. So here I'm gonna take my firing stance and I'm gonna to work towards aligning my sight over the top of my hand there and finding my target beyond, taking a visual target out in front of me. I'll still switch hands so that we're building good mechanics. And I'm focusing on keeping my shoulder blades intact, keeping my core under control but not too tense. And I'm gonna focus on how I would actually feel if I was pressing the trigger and working in an environment where I have to actually uh, work similarly utilizing something like a uh, BAMF hammer or other types of resistance. Now I'm gonna work a little bit more forearm, back, and shoulder, allowing my body to experience resistance against the same tissues that would otherwise go relatively untaxed when it comes to doing firearms work. We just, again, spend a lot of time in that forward position. And if you're doing a lot of tactical work with all that gear on, it's gonna be really hard to uh, maintain good posture, all that added weight. So we do wanna be working our biomechanics so that they're getting stronger in those positions. So I did my simulated stress work. Now I'm turning the app back on. I'm going back to the firing range. I'm gonna place my shots, find my target.
Now a really cool aspect of this is that the gyroscope allows us to use a tilting mechanism in order to put that reload mechanism on. So we would ideally tilt it in the direction that we would be reloading from and then continue firing from there. So we're gonna fire, fire, Reload. And reset. Now that moved me to 15 yards. I had much more difficulty there. So I'm gonna reset. Start at 20 yards. Let's see how we do. Complete. Not too bad at 20 yards, a little bit better there. So let's go ahead and shift my phone over to the rifle and switch my handgun over into the rifle mount so that we can use the MCK converter from CAA gear up. So it's super easy to just go ahead and shift this out. In this case, you'll see I took my phone out of my case. It doesn't fit in the traditional locking position. There we go. Okay, that's set up. So you can see I've got it set up here on the MCK converter system. And what's really cool about this is that you can set your dot sight to fit within the scope of the firearm. So if you really look closely in there, see if we can actually get this to focus. Right, you can see that the firearm is actually aligned with the scope. So I've got the sight aligned with the red dot on the actual app. And very effectively, I'm able to stabilize those shots. I'm able to see some of the movement that's going on when I'm actually shooting through the virtual shot system. So very simple, very effective, very deployable. Let's do a little bit of simulated stress work with it now to see how we do when we're a little bit fatigued. So I'm gonna do a very simple drill here to get my heart rate up. I'm gonna squat with the Banff hammer. I'm gonna press it out. taxing those shoulders, taxing my back. Let's see how we do when the heart's pumping and the muscles are burning. If I can still stabilize my shots quickly, efficiently, and effectively. Now I'm gonna pull, get my shoulder blades moving, tax the shoulders a little bit, and that grip See how we do in our shots. Again, the muscles are burning, the stabilizers are going in a way that they're not used to. Set our BAMP hammer down. 
Set up our shots here. Here we go, we're on the range. Very nice. So I hope you enjoyed our kinetic training rapid tactical response session here with our simulated stress work. Again, we included the virtual shot app system and its uh, attachment sy systems for uh so I hope you enjoyed our kinetic training rapid tactical response session here with simulated stress work that we did with our virtual shot uh, attachment system for both the rifle and the handgun as well as the Banff hammer. Again, when it comes to being tactically fit and preparing for life and death situations that involve the use of firearms and use of force, we want the body to be biomechanically sound and biomechanically prepared to handle that stress. That involves making sure that we're controlling our breathing through nasal breathing capable of holding our breath to stabilize our trigger squeeze and then we do want to make sure that we're strengthening our back muscles and our posterior chain muscles so that we're fully capable of accelerating and decelerating and controlling the amount of force that our body experiences when we're letting off rounds as well as potentially getting into close quarters combat situations that involve hand-to-hand -hand combat but we do want to make sure that we're also just counteracting some of the effects of being in that forward head posture, forward shoulder posture that we have to be in when we're wielding something like a handgun or a rifle. So thanks a lot for watching today. Make sure to, make sure to head over to virtualshot.com. I'll leave the links in the bio as well as down below in the YouTube section. We'll see you next time y'all live kinetically.